Maria Jose. You probably know me from my other channel with Tio Ventura. But if you don't know me, I'm a makeup artist that lives full time in her school bus. For today's video, I'm going to be creating this glowy, summery, bronzy, bold but neutral look that I feel like everybody can do. If you would like to recreate this makeup look, skip on watching. First step, it's going to be our primer. I love this primer from Chanel. It gives you a very nice glow look to your skin. So we're gonna just use a tiny little bit, apply it all over the face. And we're gonna go very soft all over. It's probably good to say that my skin is more like normal. Not very dry, not very oily, it's more like in between. After applying the primer, I like to apply more like a cream highlighter. So it looks more like I'm getting a glow from underneath. I could apply it all over, but this time I'm going to apply it only in the points where I want it to look more glowy. Which will be where you normally apply your highlight. And your cheekbones, bridge of the nose, cupid bow, a little bit on the chin. I like to apply a little bit on top of the brow. See that? After that, I like to continue with my brows. For brows, we're going to be using two different products. I like to start with a brow gel. It's a clear brow gel. And I like to brush my brows up. A little more bushy brows. If you guys would like to see a little bit more in detail video of how I do my brows, let me know in the comments down below and I can totally do that for you. So let's start with a brow pencil. I'm going to fill up my brows. After we have our brows done, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. So I like to do a little bit backwards my makeup. I like to do my eyes first and then my face just because I'm messy and I will get shadow all over. So I prefer to do my eyes clean and make sure that I'm able to do my foundation without having to like worry if I fall out or whatever. For eyeshadow primer, I'm just gonna use my regular concealer, which is this Lancome concealer. It's waterproof. I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit on my eyelids, kinda like to neutralize the color of my eyelids, and I'm just gonna apply with my finger. For the eyeshadow palette, I wanna use one of my favorite palettes, which is the Anastasia Soft Glam. You can totally tell there's one of my favorites, like heating, pan today we're gonna try to keep it as simple as possible and i'm gonna be using the color orange soda all over my crease i like to keep it concentrated in the outer corner and then whatever is left over i bring it to my inner corner then we're gonna use the color burnt orange in the same brush same technique we're just kind of like adding a little bit more dimension to our eyes and the point is, I have a little bit more hooded eyes. That means that to be able to see my eyeshadow, I will have to close my eyes or go a little above my crease. So that way when my eyes are open, you can see that. I'm going to use the color Rustic. Just the tiniest little bit of shadow. I'm going to keep it in the outer corner. For my eyelid, I'm going to be using this Natasha Denona palette, which is actually a great palette. 
Natasha Nona has very good quality eyeshadows. They're expensive, but she came with this mini version and it comes with five colors and they are, I believe it's $25. I'm going to be using this color in the corner, which one over here. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. We're gonna be applying that, pressing the product on our lids. Now we're gonna clean a little bit underneath the eyes and I'm going to be using some micellar water. See, that would have been all over my foundation and concealer. Okay, after we have our shadows on, let's continue with eyeliner and mascara. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this NYX eyeliner. It's waterproof black, it's like $3, I believe. And I'm just gonna get in my waterline. Same, mirror down so you can have your eyes open and see what you're doing and just get underneath your lashes in your waterline. This is gonna make your eyes look a little bit more defined. Also, it's gonna make your lashes look a little bit more fuller. Of course, you have to make crazy faces applying your eyeliner and mascara, who doesn't? Let's curl our lashes and put some mascara on. Look at that difference. No lashes, lashes. For mascara, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Mascara. Everything that I mentioned, I'm gonna try to link it down below so that way you can find it online. Look at that difference. Mascara without mascara. You totally can apply fake lashes. I think I'm not gonna apply fake lashes, but if you would like to learn how to apply fake lashes, let me know down below. We can do a look with lashes for sure. It's crazy what a big difference mascara does to your eyes. It opens up, it's amazing. I'm gonna continue with my face. I love contouring, but I feel like sometimes it could be a little bit too fake, too much. Favorite way of applying contour, it's in cream. I'm using this Anastasia, it's actually a foundation. I have it in the, co in the color Cool Golden and I apply it on top of my primer before foundation and I will show you how I do that. Just a tiny little bit, I like to apply it above where I want it to be. That way when I'm blending, it's going to be right where I need it instead of making my face looking down. We wanna make everything lift and more like defined lines. We can do more in detail contouring and bronzering highlighting and all that i think that will be a fun video okay another thing if you don't feel comfortable doing lines all over your face and just like feel scared that it's not gonna blend or whatever what i like to do to make it look a little bit more natural is before applying of course if i'm not doing this i put a tiny little bit on my hand grab the brush that i'm gonna use which i love this one from clinique i grab it with my brush and that way is how i'm gonna apply it now that I already have it on, I'm just gonna blend. It's all about blending. I like to put it underneath my lip so it makes my lip a little bit more voluminous, bigger. But don't forget to blend it because I have done that and just have like a little chocolate poop smear <laughs> underneath my lip. You can also do the same. Let's do the other technique that I was showing you so you can see the difference. A little bit on my hand, grab it with the brush and whatever is in the brush is what's gonna help you contour. It's a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna cover some imperfections with my concealer and I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes concentrating a little bit more where I have the discoloration, which is not all over my eye, it's more like at the front. See here? See if you have a little breakout around my nose, it gets a little red. To blend that, I'm going to be using a beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques, it's from the drugstore, it's great. You use a damp, so put it underneath your sink, a little bit of water, squish out the excess of water, and there you go, we're gonna blend. See that difference already? We're gonna be using foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using this NARS Natural Radiant Lone Wire Foundation. It's a full coverage foundation, medium to full coverage. I like to use a tiny little bit. I'm gonna apply with the same brush that I apply my contour with. Little bit, same, applying on my hand. I start where I want more coverage, which is more like cheek area and then the rest i kind of like blend with whatever i have left over circle emotions 
we're gonna set our under eyes first. I'm going to be using this La Mer powder, which is expensive, but I have very dry under eyes. And I feel like this one doesn't make my eyes very dry. I'm gonna use just a tiny little bit with my sponge again. With the same powder, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Same with the sponge. I'm going to apply most of it where I know I could get oily or I talk a lot, I smile a lot. So I get some smile lines next to my lips and I'm just gonna press it on there instead of baking and doing all that shebang. Favorite part, bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's from the drugstore. It's the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It smells like summer, coconut. Just kind of like a fluffy brush. I'm going to be applying my bronzer normally where the sun will make me a little bit more sun kiss. Think for blush, I'm gonna use this burst piece in the color toasted cinnamon. We wanna smile and apply it in the apples of our cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to be using this color pop. Highlighter. The color is here, Kitty Kitty. I love ColourPop. They are pretty economic, no expensive at all, and products are amazing. If you have a little bit of texture, you're gonna try to avoid the area because the highlight is gonna make things pop a little bit more. Oh, I love it. We're gonna apply a little bit more in like inner corner brush just gonna open your eyes to make everything melt in and kind of blend together I'm going to use the setting mist from morphe I love this one we'll see I love this look it looks so dewy to finish our eyes I'm going to be using the same Anastasia palette I'm gonna grab the color burnt orange in this tiny precise brush and I'm gonna be applying it underneath my lash line Sometimes I apply mascara on my bottom lash. I don't think this time I will because it's hot and then my mascara gets underneath my eyes. It has always do that way. I think it's because I have a little longer lashes or because I sweat a lot. Now let's do one of my favorite parts, which is lips. For this look, you can totally change it up. You can go with a very nude color or a bold color. So I'm gonna show you both options. You can do whatever you feel more comfortable with. Who cares? You do you. For lip liner, I love this Revlon Color Stay lip liner. And this is in the color Nude. It's from the drugstores. We're just going to line our lips. I like to fill up my lips with a lip liner as well. I was thinking if we're do doing more like a nude color, I'm... Just put the lip liner on and I'm going with a gloss. I love glosses. And this is a Chanel gloss. It's very glossy, moisturizing, not too sticky. And it has kind of like a shimmer to it. Another trick that I love to do with my lipstick is I grab the foundation I use, put a tiny little bit on my hand and grab a tiny little precise brush and clean around my lips. That way, if I made any mistakes, erase it. Also makes your lips a little bit more contour. It looks a little bit bigger. And there you have it. This is the look with the nude lip. I will show you how it looks with the bold lip. For the more bold color, I'm going to be using these. It's a little bit more like orange red. I love orange red on the summertime. This is the bold look. I love both. I don't know which one will be my favorite. Which one is your favorite? Which one will you be more willing to wear? A bold red look or more like a subtle nude glossy look? In the summertime, I love applying some glow to my skin, and that's why I love using this Marc Jacobs highlighter drops. You can apply with the beauty sponge or with a brush. If you have a tan, makes you look super glowy. Look at that. Woohoo! And there you have it, friends. This is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments down below 
what would you wear more a bold lip with this look or more like a neutral subtle glossy goddess look let me know what would you like to see from me i have great ideas for upcoming videos but I want to create content that you will enjoy. Also, if you would like to see a little bit more behind the scenes of me living a full time in a school bus, make sure to subscribe and check out Tio Ventura's channel, which is going to be here somewhere in the screen. And that's all, friends. I will see you in the next one. Bye! My teeth look so white. Mm.